Hi student, this is Mr. Ivan here. So I would like to talk about one of the most difficult topic in your physics syllabus, which is magnetism. So in magnetism, there are three hand rules that you must memorize, which is the Fleming's left hand rule, Fleming's right hand rule, and right hand grip rule. So I'll cover Fleming's left hand rule today briefly. Okay, so in Fleming's left hand rule, there are three parts you need to memorize, which is the left hand. So we have F, which is the force, B, the magnetic field, and I, the current. So you must memorize these three main components. If you cannot, write on your finger. Force, magnetic field, current. So this left hand is very useful when you are finding force that produced by magnetic field. So how, remember, Fleming's left hand rule, find force. So where will the force be produced and how does it produce? So you will always see when a permanent, permanent magnet putting here. The magnetic field is always from north going to south. Then you always have a current carrying conductor showing in the middle. So in this symbol, it means that the current is going into the page. So where will be the force produced on the wire? Nah, use the hand lock. FBI. So I is into the page, B is to there. So this one point into the page and then the index finger pointing to the south. So your thumb is pointing downwards. And from here we can know that this will be the direction of force. All right. So coming up next, you will see when the current is reversed, the direction of force will be reversed as well. So I'll draw another diagram to show you that. Now is when the current is going to the page, but I'll erase this as well. So what we'll see next is here. When you have a bigger magnet, you have current into the page and current out of the page. So when this happens, same, we always need to label now what is uh, where is the direction of magnetic field first and on the left will be in on the right will be out so by using our Fleming's left hand rule I is into the pitch index finger point to the south so force is going down then when the current is out magnetic field is to south force will go up so from here when the forces acting on the core is in opposite in opposite direction then what happened to the coil is that the coil will rotate and the coil is rotating in anti-clockwise direction so here's a quick revision for this chapter hope you guys understand and you can catch up very quickly and learn very well so memorize this few important things number one is that when the current is reversed the force will be reversed then remember the three important fingers in the Fleming's left hand rule chapter so see you guys next time bye